my dear grade 8 students so welcome back to our class again this is your teacher miss cabs so here we are again for our new exciting episode of our science class in science 8 and today we're going to talk about inside and out of the atoms so, but of course before we proceed to our lesson if you are new to this channel so don't forget to subscribe like and hit the notification bell for more updates in our science class and for uh, today's objective uh, this is based on our most essential learning competencies uh, we have only one so in this lesson you are uh, going to determine the number of protons neutrons and electrons in a particular atom okay so let's proceed so in module one you learn that matter is made up of atoms which are too small to see with the unaided eye or even with the use of of the ordinary light microscope all right so when the idea of the atom was conceived by the ancient greek philosophers if you could still remember in our previous lessons nah, so uh, they thought that the atom was indivisible so cannot be divided and they thought that it has no parts so scientists have proven however no, they they prove however that the atom is composed of even smaller particles so from experiments conducted in the later part of the 19th century to the early half of the 20th century scientists uh, collected evidence that atoms are what that atoms are what composed of three types of particles okay so what are these three types of particles okay so let's try to see so the three types of particles i know that you have already uh, an idea of these particles so these are protons electrons and neutrons yeah that's right so these components of the atom are collectively uh, referred to as the subatomic particles so don't forget that guys huh? so those three types of particles they are referred or collectively referred as the subatomic particles okay okay so uh, in recent years, scientists have uh, discovered that protons and neutrons consist of even smaller particles. So there are still many things about the atom and what is inside it that scientists are discovering. So these extremely small particles are, are being studied using an extremely big structure that serves as their instrument so to get you started prepare yourself to turn the atoms inside out so we have in our mind that no, the, the different questions no, about atoms so first we have no, what makes up an atom if we can say that or, or the science says that an atom no, is made up of a very small particles so what are those particles okay so the, you have already your idea that there are three types of the subatomic particles the the protons electrons and the neutrons so in that question we had already answered that okay so what makes up an atom so of course it has protons neutrons and electrons so another question is how do these components differ from each other and how are these components arranged inside the atom and how is an atom different from an ion so those are the questions that we are going to or you are going to answer later on after our discussion 
Okay, so in the earlier grades, you learned about magnets, right? And as we all know that a magnet has two ends or two poles, the north and the south pole. So if you are going to put the south ends of the two magnets next to each other, so the magnets will move apart. And how about if you are going to put the two north ends next to each other? Yes. The same observation would be made as when when both north ends are next to each other. Take note with that, guys. Ha? And how about if when you place north and south ends next to each other? So what have you observed? Okay, so they will attract to each other. So uh, in these observations, no. Uh, we can infer or we can indicate that like ends or poles repel and unlike ends attract, right? Okay, so like, like ends or like poles repel and unlike ends attract. So why? Uh, it is because there is an electric charges. No, yung tinatawag natin na electric charges. So, either positive or negative charge. Na. Uh, similarly, that is like charges repel or push away each other. And unlike charges attract or pull toward each other. So, please uh, keep this in keep this kind of behavior in mind guys as we go along with our activity so don't forget that like poles or like ends repel and unlike ends attract okay so let's proceed okay try to watch this video guys and observe carefully so try to take a look at the balloon and the hair so there is nothing happened okay so take a look at this okay so what have you observed after uh, the balloon was rubbed in the shirt. Okay, so as you observe, the hair, the hair now is standing. So why is that so? So try to uh, watch another video for you to know what is really happening. Okay, try to watch this another video guys for you to understand more why is it or why why is that so uh, why is that the hair is standing when after after you rub the balloons in your shirt for how many times Okay guys, so from the activity or from the video that you had watched, so you have seen that objects, even they seem to be neutral, can carry charges. So in fact, you were able to charge the objects by rubbing them against another object. So just like what happened no, to the balloon, when you rub the balloon to your shirt, so you can infer that 
after you rub the balloons, they acquired a charge, right? So, since they push away each other, so before, no, kung makikita mo yung dalawang balloon, no, sa hindi pa siya nararab ng cloth, so, uh, malapit pa sila sa isa't isa. Pero, nung, nung time na, na narab na siya, narab na siya, ganun. <laughs> okay, so, nung time na after narab ng, ng cloth yung balloon, so, they pushed away each other. So, meaning to say, may na-acquire sila na the same charges. Ba? So, kagaya ng sinabi natin kanina, na kapag, uh, just like what happened in our magnets, na kapag like ends, no, repel each other, but unlike ends, they, ano gani, they attract each other. So, yun din ang mangyayari sa mga charges. Pag the same charges, yung nakukuha ng isang object. So, meaning to say, magkakalayo din sila. Oh, di ba? So, nagtatagalog ako ngayon, guys, para uh, maintindihan naman nung mga uh, viewers natin dito, no? Uh, kasi, hindi lang, hindi lang ito sa negros makikita. Ito ay makikita din sa buong mundo. Kaya, uh, magtatagalog tayo ngayon. Kahit uh, tayo na hihiraba na. Char! Okay, so okay lang guys. Okay, so going back. So therefore, okay, so you can infer that after you have rubbed the balloons, they acquire a charge. So since, since they pushed away each other. And you can even say that the balloons acquire the same charge, right? Okay, so what other example could you give? Hmm, zip, zip. Have you experienced the same with your hair after brushing it? So, kapag kayo ay nagsusuklay na uh, after brushing it, now, if you are going to put your, your, your comb again in your hair, so, nakikita nyo ba na tumatayo din yung buhok nyo? Okay, so, yun. Isa yun sa mga example natin. So, meaning to say, my charges na nakukuha yung suklay sa buhok natin. And, and, ano pa, isa pa is, uh, try to, try to look at, no, your, uh, try to get a piece of paper, then, ano nyo, uh, punit-punitin yun into small pieces. Okay, so, and then, i-ano nyo, suklay nyo sa buhok nyo for how many times yung suklay nyo. Tapos, ilalagay nyo sa, lagay nyo sa, ano, sa papel. No, tingnan nyo what will happen. Okay? So, yun din. Yun din ang mangyayari. So, the, the paper and the comb will attract to each other. Right? So, why do you think this happened? Okay? So, from here, you can infer that objects are electrically neutral or simply neutral but they could or they can carry electrical charges okay okay so but where do all these charges come from so ito na naman yung question na uh, pag-iisipan natin saan ba nang gagaling yung mga charges na ito no where do all these charges come from okay so let's proceed so in our previous discussions you have learned that all matter are made up of atoms and atoms of which all objects are made are electrical in nature so atoms contains particles with positive and negative charges right so uh, Ano kaya yung mga subatomic particles na nagki-carry or nagdadala ng mga positive and negative charges? Okay? So, yes. Okay. So, the proton, the, sub the subatomic particle proton carries the positive charge. And how about the, elect el uh, the, the negative charge? Okay, very good. So, the electron. So, um, the proton carries the positive charge, take note with that, and the electron carries the negative charge. So, 
atoms in their most stable state are neutral. Pag sinabi natin neutral or stable state yung atom, meaning the number of protons and the number of electrons are equal. So, take note with that case ha. Put this in your mind. That the atoms will be in their most stable state and they are neutral if the number of protons and the number of electrons are equal. Okay? Next. So, uh, let us say an atom has five electrons. So, how many protons does this atom have? And how about if the atom has 64 protons? How many electrons does this atom have? Okay, so the other particle in atoms is the neutron which does not carry any charge or is neutral. Now, as you may have guessed from the name it was given, now, neutron meaning neutral, now, does not carry or no charges at all. Okay, so consider an atom. Now, try to look at your screen guys. Consider an atom which has six protons. 6 electrons and 6 neutrons. Is the atom electrically neutral? What's your answer? So, if the atom has 6 electrons, 6 protons, and 6 neutrons, is the atom electrically neutral? So, kagaya nga nang sinabi natin kanina, the atoms will, will have at their most stable state if, no, no, stable state and they are neutral if the number of protons and the number of electrons are equal. So, makikita natin dito sa screen natin na may anim or may 6 electrons and may 6 protons na, and 6 neutrons. So, meaning to say, they are uh, they are neutral. And how about if now, instead the atom has 6 protons Six electrons, and this time my eight neutrons na. So is it still neutral? Oh, yun yung question natin. Oh, hindi namin alam mis kasi ano inibar mo na yung question. Eight neutrons na. So sabi mo, uh, sabi mo kanina mis na uh, pag pag the same number ang proton at saka electron, they are neutral. No? And ngayon, sabi mo naman, no? uh, instead of 6 neutrons, naging 8 neutrons na miss. So, paano ba yan? Ano ba? No? Is it neutral? Okay. So, malalaman natin yan sa susunod na kabanata. Char. Okay. So, let's proceed para malaman nyo. Okay. Oh, here. So, these are now the questions. Okay, so does the number of neutrons affect the charge of the atom? Hmm? Uh, with the charges of the three subatomic particles, it was the neutron which took the longest time to discover. Yes. No? So, isa na yung mga question natin na, uh, uh, kanina question natin na kapag, kapag naging 8 yung neutron, no? Is it no? neutral pa ba? Neutral pa ba yung atom? Okay. So, does the number of the neutrons affect the charge of the atom? No? Okay. So, alam nyo ba guys na uh, it was uh, detected 30 years after the electron and the proton were uh, discovered the, ano, the neutron is uh, was also discovered after 30 years pa. Okay. No? The neutron which took the longest time to discover. So, after 30 years pa na-discover yung neutron. So, meaning to say, ano? No. Okay. So, makikita natin dito. 
So here are the properties of the three main subatomic particles. So as you can see, we have a subatomic particle symbol. Electrons is E negative. So since negative charge yung dinadala niya. Protons is positive. So since positive yung charge na dinadala niya, no? P plus, no? electron E plus, ay, electron is E negative. E negative, protons is P plus, and neutrons is zero. So, since they have no charge. Na? Okay. So, tingnan nyo yung mass nila. Okay. So, this is in grams. And the location of this subatomic particle in the atom is electrons is in the outside of the nucleus. At saka yung proton at neutron ay nasa loob. No? Is, is in the nucleus. So, now, Refer to the masses of the subatomic particles in the table. Arrange the subatomic particles in increasing mass. Okay, question number one. Which subatomic particle is the lightest? And question number two. Which subatomic particle is the heavy, heaviest? And which subatomic particle have almost the same mass? Okay, so try to take a look at our table. So, makikita nyo dyan, guys, activity natin na you have compared the masses of the three subatomic particles. And you have seen that protons and neutrons are massive, right? Electrons are very much lighter than the protons and neutrons to the point that its mass does not significantly contribute to the mass of the entire atom. So, in effect, the mass of the electron is negligible. Kung baga, uh, okay lang, wala ka ng char. Uh, wala ka ng ano dito. Na, wala ka ng nako-contribute. Char, ganun. Kasi napaka, ano, napaka gaan, no? napaka light no? ng uh, electron. And this is the uh, lightest subatomic particle. So, meaning to say the protons and the neutrons ay ano na mag uh, ano da, have almost the same mass so as you can see in our table so meaning to say that the massive part of the atom comes from the masses of protons and neutrons yun so collectively the protons and neutrons are called the nucleons Okay, so the nucleons are tightly packed together to form the nucleus in the center of the atom. Take note with that, guys. Ha? So, si proton at si neutron, uh, ano yon? they are collectively and tightly packed together to form the nucleus in the center of the atom. So, Thus, most of the mass of the atom is contained in its nucleus. Okay? So, yun pala. So, yun pala si proton at si neutron pala yung may talagang may contribution sa mass ng atom. Okay? Okay? So, any more question? So, may nakuha? If you have some more question, guys, kung may, may clarifications kayo, since this is a recorded video, do not forget to PM or message me directly or you can comment here in our comment box. Okay? Yes. So, as we go along with our topic, you will learn more about nucleus and how it was discovered. Okay? So, dito lang kami nag- na dito lang kami nagtapos guys nung last meeting namin so dito rin dito ko rin tatapusin yung video ko so okay para hindi natin ma spoil yung mga uh, yung yung next meeting natin okay so, so sa next meeting or sa next video pa natin it it tatalakay or iko continue yung discussion natin okay so i hope that you had something or you have something that you have learned in this video and if you have some clarifications or questions just pm or message me okay so that's all for this video i hope na nakikinig kayo ng mabuti at 
tsaka may nakukuha kayo or may nakuha kayo. Okay? So, yun lang guys. Thank you for listening and keep safe and God bless everyone. Bye!